Hi guys, welcome back to some more FIFA 14 career mode action. We have the final couple of days of transfer deadline day to get done. But before that we have a match against Leighton Orient. So let's go in and check the squad out. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get another win. We can start this episode off in great style and get up into, back into the top 10. Energy is looking okay. Anyone we can bring in? Um... Lava, you know what, let's bring you in. Let's go. Verts, let's have you in for Sing. Um, actually, Verts in there. Midfield. Interesting, actually, in the midfield. Um, you know what, let's keep, yeah, we'll keep the team as it is. Kamalo in there. Lava is in form. Actually, is there anyone else who's in form on the bench? Sing Fenlon. Uh, you know what? Yeah, let's have Fenlon in there. He is. Yeah, he's he's on form. He can he can play this game out. We've got a break after this game for the next one. Try and get a couple more signings done. I have seen a couple of guys who I want to try and sign. One of them will not be done until transfer deadline day. Um, I have found a potential new um, centre half to sign is this guy Harry Tofolo. Um he's available on loan from Norwich so I'm hoping I can sign him on loan with an option to buy him um, just by going into the to buy option you see there he's probably going for a sum of between 280 and 400,000 says my chief exec so we are going to look and see if we can finance that deal, but it depends who we sell. Um, the other guy who I'm going to look to potentially bring in, well maybe not straight away, but on transfer deadline day if I've got the wage bill available, is this guy Michael Richardson. He is available to sign on a pre-contract. So I am going to look to try and sign him on a pre-contract, but I'm not going to do that until transfer deadline day when it depends. Hopefully I've got Musonda in, um, potentially Tofolo in, and Hornshuch in, and then we'll see what's left. But before that we're going to get this game done against Leighton Orient. We are at home. Let's hope we can start off with three points. Leighton Orient beat Peterborough 1-0, lost to Notts County as well. I saw and they drew one as well. So mixed form for them. Get in. 1-0 win. Esmerado off the bench to score. Verts got booked. Pell injured. Durson sent off. Okay. So, who do we have in at right back? Hopefully. Uh, Harry Pell out for seven days. Assistant manager Durson uh, is suspended for this next game. But I am looking to bring in another right back. So, hopefully, this guy does sign ASAP. Um, which then means we can. Uh, we can get him on, uh, get Durson out and get this guy, Hornshush, in. He is a right back. I accept that offer. Still leaves me with 8,000 a week in wages. New signing arriving. We are still a three star team. This guy, Hornshush, is rated 64. Okay, so it's pretty good cover at the back. Yeah, 65 and 64 for the uh, for the two right backs. We've got 64 and 64 for the two left backs. So, yeah, we've got Ho who's 65. We've got um, a 66, a 67, and a 60. No, 70 of them. Rossetti's 70 now in central defence. So our defence is looking pretty good. Um, right, we just need to see what's going to happen in terms of players. Leaving the club, obviously, deadline day is on its way. We have, I think, still three players on the uh, on the way out. Um, one, two, three. Yeah, Pozzetti and Samasala available for loan. Rowe, Moore and Clemente available to be sold. We need to sell Rowe and Moore, I think, to be able to bring in um, Musonda. We have... 8,000, we have potentially 10,000 available in transfer, in wage budget, but we just need, um, we just need to sell players to bring in the funds to, 
to finance the deal basically we've got the ways available but I am going to try and sign this to phone I'm going to do a loan to buy um, loan, clean sheet bonus 10% full season future fee we'll go 300,000 see what Norwich say to that chief exec says he's worth between three or well, 280 and 400,000 he is being scouted so hopefully you will get a bit better report on him hopefully 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 that deal can go through but we'd like to see at least two players leave in this uh, in the rest of this window but basically this one day that we have left of the window we have one office hopefully this is um, a transfer offer in okay three offices now loan offer from Norwich um, final report on Musonda. Let's have a quick look. Balance pretty good. It's saying final report, but you're still not giving me his strength. Sliding tackles good. Standing tackles good. Short passing is good. Long passing good. Ball control is amazing. Yeah, I really need to try and sign that guy. Paul Flint. I found four players in England. Right mids. I've asked him to look for. Southend, Plymouth, Stevenage, Barnsley, Lewin, Nyatanga. Um, ask for, oh, we can sign this guy on a uh, pre contract as well. Centre back, we may look at doing that. Harry Tafolo, 19 days remaining. He looks pretty good. You know what? Let's remove him from report and get these guys scouted. Right mid, right mid. Hartley, can't sign you on a pre contract. Lewis can't sign you on a pre-contract so we'll leave you for now and Atkinson can't sign you on a pre-contract Norwich City we feel the fee involved is fair but we are yet to, we are, but we are not yet decisive on allowing this player to leave we'll get back with you shortly okay so hopefully they get back with us well in the next couple of hours would be ideal we'll have to see what happens Aha, two offices. Are these anything good? Transfer offer for Luke Rowe from Millwall, 300,000. Yep, we will allow that. And I've only got 11,000, so I'm assuming this. Yep. They're allowed to join your club. Then you then have the option to purchase him for 300,000. Accept that. Thank you. Wage budget remaining, 7,000. Okay, right. Can we see how this player looks? Um, where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Tofolo, 61. And how old is he? He's only 20, and he's 61, and he, play, he can play left back as well. I did forget to mention that. So you know what? Yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. But he's like I said, it's only on loan. If we decide we don't want to buy him, or have just got not got the funds, we don't have to buy him. Uh, player sold. Um, Luke Rhodes bought giving me 250,000 to sign a player. We also have wage of 10,000, so I'm going to go in and try and sign um, this Masonda. I'm fairly certain Chelsea are going to come back and say they want more than the uh, 250,000 I am going to offer them. But unfortunately, that's all I can really offer them. Um, yeah, I could try and do it as a loan to buy again, I suppose. We could see if if they'll do that. We'll have to have a look. See what they say. I mean, he is, a, he is on the transfer list, so I don't see why they won't let him go. Hopefully they'll go a bit cheap. So, coming down to five hours to go. And Chelsea transfer offer accepted. Holy shit. Right. I know what some of you guys are thinking, 10 grand is a lot, but i got a feeling this guy is going to be a world beater. Um, yeah, we've now got to try and sell some players if we can. We've got four hours left. Three hours. Oh, we've now finally got an office. Contract offer accepted. Get rid of that. We've got £4,999 available. Player signed, signed a top player, right. Let's have a look. 
Where is he? Masonda, 67. But he's only 23. Ball control, 78. Dribbling, 67. Short pass, 79. Marking, 67. Standing tackle, where was it? Where was it? 70. Slide tackle, 70. Aggression, 74. Vision, 73. Yes, his strength lets him down, but look at that balance, agility, sprint speed. He's... Yeah, I, I do like that. And for 250,000... Um, let's see... What he's valued at. He's valued at 450,000. And we got him for 250,000. So if I have him for a season and then sell him, I've made... I've made a bit of profit. Right, another office, three hours to go. Transfer offer for Sammy Moore. Accept that. Wow, he's valued at 275,000 and Birmingham have offered me 300,000. Interesting. Very, very interesting. And um, was he on the transfer list? I thought he was. Sell players. Yeah, he is on the transfer list, and they've offered me more than what he's worth. Okay. Right, um... Quick look at the shortlist, just see if there's anyone else. I could try and sign... Stefan Kushis, but then again, he's on six grand wages. I don't think I'm going to be able to afford the six grand wage. And the transfer fee. Um, Oliveras, another left-back, not really... Michael Richardson, I could try and sign him now instead of waiting, just so I've got that cover. Uh, CDM, let's get rid of you off my shortlist, as I've already just signed a CDM. So it could be this guy, it's Michael Richardson, he could be the one to come in. Getting rid of more, uh, Zogway's gone, so we're down to Pell, Mundigai, um, Musonda, I think, for the three central midfield roles. Let's have quick look sort via position so we've still got the three keepers one two three four five center backs one two left backs one two three right backs one two cams one cdm if more leaves we've got mundigai and pell as our only two central midfielders with masonda obviously Payne is out on loan um, I don't want to let Esmeralda go out alone, but then again, he has scored a couple of vital goals for us. You know what, Richardson, I think he's only 100,000, isn't he? So let's get this hour done. If we can get more done in this hour, which I hope it is now, player sold, here we go. And we've been given 250,000. Um, actually, yeah, I did want to go and check out the team. Just see if we are still a three-star team. I thought we were. Yep. Right, I will look to bring this um, this Richardson in. Bit of cover in central midfield. My shortlist. Central mid. See, shown an interest with the late notes. See, I could just sign him on a pre-contract and save myself the 2,250. Um, interesting. What to do, what to do. You know what, let's try and get him done now. Yet to sign a long term deal. What did I do loan? I want to do buy. Approach to buy. Why is it only letting me loan him? Has he signed a deal with Leighton Orient? Approach to sign on contract expiry. It's not going to let me do it because I need some funds in the wages. It's interesting now it wouldn't let me buy him. Okay, that will do. Um, yeah, I just found it very strange how it won't let me buy him. Approach to buy. No. Well, it's, well, it's saying there, Richardson is not a key member of the first team and is yet to sign a long-term deal with the club. They might be persuaded with an offer between 97 and 103,000. But I can't. I can only put a loan bid in for him. 
and I can't even put a loan bid in for him. It won't go down to submit offer. Approach Newcastle United to loan. 20. No, it won't let me go down to loan, so I can't even put that bid in for him. I've not. I've got the funds. Okay, approach to sign on contract expiry. Goal bonus 10%, 4 years, crucial first team player. Interesting, it'll let me do that, but it won't let me go to sign him. Um, if I went and put it all on wages, what would it give me? It'd give me that. So, let's have, let's leave 2,500, it leaves me 176,000 instead. Right, two hours to go. I don't think we're going to be signing anyone else. As we have another office. Contract offer declined. I reviewed your contract with my agent and can't agree the condition because I don't think you can actually give me the role that you offered. Thank you for your interest, but please revise your offer and my agent will take it under consideration. Okay, I'll make you an important first team player. Let's see what you say to that. If you say no, you say no. Fair enough. Um I'm gonna say there's I wonder actually. No, we can't sign him on loan. I was going to say, we'll see if we can sign that Stefan Kush on loan. But I can't afford his 6,000 uh, six a week wages. It's a shame. I'd love to have brought him in on loan. But just can't afford the wage. Never mind. Let's uh, leave it. See what Richardson says. He may say yes. He may say no. He'll probably say no. But we shall just have to see. Office. Assistant manager. Players leaving. One, two, three, four, five leaving. Deadline day has passed. 95,000. Oh, sorry, 95 million was spent. So we haven't done too bad in terms of the squad. I honestly don't think. No. Still a three star team. We've let some, some big names go, but I think honestly think we've brought in a few big names. As we have a report. On a player, this Tono guy. Uh, nope, don't want to go into that. My career. I want to go to this one. Final scout report on Tono. So between where is he? Here he is. Between 68 and 72. Shooting is that's just his summary, right? Physical stats look pretty good. Attacking position not that great, but we're okay. Aggression, interception, standing tackle and slide tackle. I think I made a, a right decision not to keep on looking after him. Simon Walton looks looks okay apart from his ball control. Well, this guy, Van Roos, ball control looks good. Standing tackle, slide tackle, shot power. Everything looks good there. Let's inquire see what Bruges have to say about him. Another report from England, I found four players. Uh, <laughs> it's found my centre-back, remove him straight away. Dilasuba, why are you saying so? You saying I shouldn't have sold him. Right, Wheeler, Exeter. I want players of a higher calibre, to be honest. Okay, we'll leave that for the time being. Let's just continue to to go forward. I've got a game coming up. We've got a press conference. Um, in response to your recent inquiry of Karel Van Roos, we would consider a bid in the region of 600,000. Okay. Something to consider next season. But before that, we have a game coming up in a few days. I think that's Crawley. It is. There are a couple of places below us. So we are going to need to win that game. Oh, right, let's check the squad out. Hopefully, 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 we are going to be pretty good with this squad. We are going to have a full, nice squad in there. We go. Ooh, uh, I'll have about up to seventy. Hornshoosh is in there. Masonda, Pell, Frankham, Bahio. Esmerado, no, I want Verts in there. 
Kamalo, Shafi, Lava, Singh is in need of a rest. Samasalo or Warner. Morale for those two is looking dreadful. Let's get Warner in there to see if we can get his morale up a bit. Probably not because he's not playing many games, but we shall just have to uh, make do. Right, Crawley unbeaten in their last three. Beat Bradford, drew with MK Dons and Port Vale. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully we can get something from this. How can my new signings do? Hornshush and Musonda straight in there. One old draw, Pell sent off. Jesus. But then Laba rescued a point. Thank God for that. Um. English football league. Okay. Player suspended will be Pell. Suspension over for Derson and press conference. Motivate my team. That's all we can really do right now. Let's. Oh no, don't want to do that. I want to go forward there, and I want to advance. Calls to drop out of sorts. Pell. I believe he's suspended, so it will be dropped for this game. Right. Frankham, Fenlon on four, uh, in form. Pell out of form. So Durson's back in. Velasco, Kamala, Shafi. Morale for Shafi is low. Let's get you out. Fenlon in. There's Morado. Dvodak. Let's get Dvodak in there. Mundigai. Musonda, Verts, Laba, Pell, can't have you in. Monday guy, Musonda, let's get you in there. Um, okay. Team doesn't look too bad. We just realistically need to think about, um... Uh, what am I trying to say? Think about morale and getting a win. And getting most of these players back on form. We went to this office. Scout report from England. Found four players. Pedro Munoz, Wagstaff, Wilson, and Voto. Some Voto guy could be quite good. Let's scout him a bit. I'm sure he was good on th uh, FIFA 13. Right. Who are we playing now? Notts County. Where are they in the league? Please be down the bottom. We need a confidence boost. Notts County are 15th. And don't, guys, don't forget, I'll, good chance to uh, plug another video. Notts County are the uh, team of choice for my football manager career. There will be another episode out later on this week. The episode one is out now. You uh, guys could check that out. It'll be great. Thanks. And now, let's get this game done against Notts County. The only time I want to see Notts County lose at the moment is this game. Obviously when I'm playing them in the uh, in Football Manager, I won't, but wow, 1-1 one, one, draw, 1 lost one of their last three. Velasco booked after one minute. 2-2, two, two. Derson sent off. Velasco sent off. Singh rescued a point. Holy shit, down to nine men. Unbelievable. Oh. Right, so physiotherapist Vajeo suffered a bruised shoulder and out for two days. Derson, one match ban. Pell, back from suspension. Velasco, one match ban. How have we got a break now until our next game? Could do with getting these players fully fit. We've got a week's break now till the next game, which is against Blackpool. Jesus wept. Oh, so, that good run that we had over Christmas has gone out the window with. All these draws we're having, we need. We need to get back to winning ways and win some games to get back into the top ten. Actually, sorry, we are tenth now. But well, we're ten points behind Swindon in seventh. Oh. Right. Okay. Let's check the back line out. Yeah, a few players who are getting a bit low on form. Uh, Hornshush, Kamalo, Rossetti, Fenlon, Frankham, Laba, Verts, Vajeo, George Singh, Hwang Sokho, Shafi, Musonda, Mundigai, Esmerado, Tofolo, Derson, get you Derson off the bench, get Samasalo on, 
I did try and summon Salo before you moan, let you go out on loan, but no one wanted to take you. In fifth, crew Alexander right. Um, actually, the one thing I didn't do was check morale. But only behind on goal difference. In seventh, right. It's okay for most. Pell, but you know what, get you, I'll get you on the bench. Just in case you need to come on. Shafee, let's get you off the bench and get Jung on there. Just going to want to have um, the highest morale available on that bench. Right, away at Blackpool, who have won two, lost one of their last three, beat Yeovil 2 0, Gillingham 2 0, lost to Burnley 2 1. So, in a 4 5 1 formation, it looks like they are looking to win goal games by one goal. And this is a one all draw. Jung came on and then got sent off. Vorjak was injured. Let's hope it's not too serious. We have six offices. Champions Cup. Update from England. Press conference. Player injured. Out for seven days. Jack Suspension over for Derson. Jung suspended. Velasco suspension over. AFC Wimbledon motivate my team. Chesterfield 2, Bradford. Oh, right. Let's get this one final game done. I think that's Gillingham. Look at the badge. I could be wrong. I could be completely and utterly wrong. No, it is Gillingham. We are still 10th. If we lose and the two teams below us win, we can drop down to 12th, but that's the lowest we can go. Right. Squad. Let's see who we have in, who is fit, who is raring to go. Derson, Kamala, Abdul Shafi, I don't want you in there because you just have not got um, the morale. Wonder guy, anyone else? Pell, yeah, you know what. Singh, Esmerado, you know, I can handle one guy in there, hey, Esmerado, with the, le the low morale. Dwarjak is out injured. Let's have Hoang Sok Ho on the bench for Abdul Shafi. Right. Home game versus Gillingham, who have lost two of their last three and drew the other one 1-1. One, one. They are conceding in every game, and they conceded this one, Esmerado, with the goal. As I say, they've only scored one in three, so Sod's Law, FIFA scripting, they will score in this game. But with half an hour gone, we're still leading 1-0. It would be nice to get a second, get that insurance goal. The way we've been conceding of late, I would definitely like to see that second goal. And Vejo gets us that second goal. Verts has come on for Singh. Kamalo has been booked. Can we get a clean sheet? End the episode on a high. Yes, we can. And Swindon drew, so we've clawed two points on back on Swindon. See there, Chef United got a late equaliser against Swindon. That will hopefully get the morale up a little bit. Four offices. These are going to be two players as well, isn't it? Press conference. I'm going to praise the team, not motivate them, and praise them after that win. Monday guy. Uh, club was not uh, role was not what was offered. Well, mate, you're not playing that often because you're you're just that little bit unfit. So I'm gonna have to. I'm choosing my games and playing you one out of two. Unfortunately, fella. Um, Shafi, your yes. Um, you have been given a chance, but your morale is shit. If your morale was better, then I'd play you. But your morale is shit. Uh, right. Where does that leave us in the table? Still, tenth. But we are on. 35 games played, so we have 11 games left, 13 wins, 11 draws, 11 losses, conceded 37, scored 46, plus 9 goal difference, 50 points. We are 27 points behind league leaders Charlton, we are 10 points out of the playoffs. We do still have a an outside squeaky chance, but we're going to have to win, I'd say we're going to have to win 7 of our remaining 11 games. Um, so yeah, 50 points. We are 19 points outside of the relegation zone. You see that MK Dons are 19th, so we are above our rivals. Quickly do a squad report so you can see how everyone is looking and how everyone has got on. 
uh, Ua. Um, or Alatha Bal, as it says when you go to the main squad page. Um, he's up 4 to 70. Dursen up 1 to 65. Kumalo is 66, stay the same. Rossetti up 2 to 70. Fenland up 2 to 64. Frankham has stayed the same. May look to uh, get him out of the squad and get someone better in. Pell up 1 to 66. Musonda stayed the same, he's only been with us a month. Vajeo up 3 to 74, showing great potential, and he's valued at 2.2 million. Singh has stayed the same on 69. Esmeraldo up 1 to 59. Lava stayed the same on 67. Ho up 1 to 66. Verts up 2 to 66. Velasco stayed the same on 67. Tofolo on 61. Warner up 2 to 66. Hornshush stayed the same on 64. Obviously, he has only joined us last month. Jung up 1 to 67. Clemente up 2 to 56. Pearl Zetti at 1 to 58. Drojak, who is on loan from Norwich, is up 1 to 66. Samasalo has stayed the same. Shafi has stayed the same, but he's retiring at the end of this season. Mundigai has stayed the same. Tim Payne, oh wow, look at that. Up 3 to 65, Tim Payne. I think he could be one of our central mids for next year. Get rid of Mundigai. And guys, that is it. That is how we are looking in terms of the AFC Wimbledon squad. And I'll be back with you next time, guys, where we'll get a few more games done and see if we can end Season 3. Thanks for watching, guys. Cheers.